Hey, how y'all tonight? This is Tad Dickens with the Roanoke Times, and I'm talking tonight with Kara Clark and Erie Vaughn, a uh, Nashville couple who, uh, you know, if you know about Danzig, you know that uh, Erie was the bass player, for, is the bass player for Danzig. If you uh, know about Kara, you know that I'm going to describe it as something akin to Gonzo Americana kind of <laughs> stuff. And, and so... I just I made that up on the way over in the car. <laughs> That'll work. I thought you was going to say, if you know Carrie, you know she's married to Erie Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Is, uh, I'm curious how uh, a couple of folks like you wound up getting together. And, and, uh, just bad luck. It's bad luck. That, no, actually, he stalked me on Facebook for like a year. That's what she says, but that's not true. No, he did. I did not. And I had to Google. I was like, I don't know what Erie Vaughn is. So I Googled him. I still really don't know. Yeah, she, she's not a fan. I am a fan. I just wasn't into the whole same hand dancing. Yeah, but you were. You did like metal, though. You were a Metallica chick and stuff like that, right? I, I had a perm. Yes. But I was also into Dan Seals, you know. England Dan Seals? And John Ford. And John Ford Coley. <laughs> now I'm trying to remember one of their songs. It's sad when uh, you can remember. I know. I'd really love to see you tonight. That's it. Yeah, That's I it. Be, I'm not talking about, about that. That's good shit. That's good shit. Yeah, that was that was mellow gold from the '70s, right, right there. Was, gold. Yeah. So it's um, uh, it's it's something that I noticed earlier. A lot of a lot of folks were coming up to you here. You're obviously well known wherever. You know, people know you're there. They're they're gonna come and show up, and you actually signed. Uh, uh, one of the opening acts, Sanchito Green, signed his uh, coffin, right? A, yeah, a little yeah, miniature coffin. Box set. I signed somebody's bass, too, and uh, other stuff. And they're all, like, hovering, you know. They always do that. They're like, I'm afraid to talk to him. <laughs> and then if somebody else comes up and they're like, you know, the one guy goes, oh, I was like, you know, I'm not like this. And I got my tail between my legs and I'm afraid to talk to you. And I'm like, you know, and he's just like, you're just a guy like everybody else. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want signed? You know, it's like, I said, I'm here. If I, if I didn't want to be here, I wouldn't be standing here with everybody else, you know. So, and she was doing the same thing around the corner. She had her little court she was doing, you know. Oh, yeah. No, they were all asking me, can I go talk to your husband? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one woman that you were talking to, I think uh, she was in love with your husband. I'm not I, sure. think yeah. wanted, I think she wanted maybe sex. Drunk. I don't know. I think she was just drunk. No, she was awesome. She was very overwhelmed. Yeah, she seemed. I don't mind that. I get asked that. Does it bother me? And why? I don't. First of all, I don't understand why it would bother me. Second of all, no. I'm. I think it's awesome. Also, drink booze and let me do all the work. We're We're fine, thanks. We are on CNN right now. That's oh, really? right. Really? Big Jim, oh, I don't think God. we need you. Oh, Matt Shively has shown up. Matt's got to be in the interview. Those of you who know Biscuit, well, he's uh, crashed your interview. He just crashed this interview. I sure did. All right, Matt Cheers. Shively. Local hero. No, he left. Local <laughs> hero. Actually, I've been, he uh, wrote an article on me several years ago. Yeah, really? been, that's why circulation went dwindled. Oh uh, yeah, and we lost seventeen thousand subscribers <laughs> after that. We love what it. was it? You're talking about like how I hitchhiked, uh, you know? Well, yeah, I, you know what? Um, hitchhiking and stuff like that. Was, homeless, so. was I the one who wrote that? Yeah. Wow, it's been so long. I didn't. Well, I've only remember. Two thousand three, two thousand four. I was covering the city courthouse then. Was and that, I was talking about how I was homeless on the streets and like. Bumbus was that Mason Adams you were talking about? Oh, to? it was yeah. Mason. Yeah, you're right. It was Mason. All right, so you really have right, hijacked sorry. this interview, Matt. All right, you guys get back to it, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's good to see you. There goes Matt Shively. No love you. Hair. Man, <laughs> A bass player par excellence. And uh, we'll be playing guitar with you tonight, Kara. Yeah, I actually switched him. Oh. He had no choice because I had a broken hand and some acoustic gigs to do. And I did know that Matt's um, primary instrument is guitar. And so I was like, you're switching over, and he's awesome, he's awesome. And he keeps getting on the mic, I'm not a guitar player, yeah, he and he totally not. is, yeah. yeah, he totally is He just needs great. the confidence, no, he's real good. There's you know. something There's something about Roanoke that uh, yeah, just, turns guitar players into bass players who then don't think they're guitar players anymore, I guess. Yeah, well, it's funny because I was telling my entire band, because I have a five-piece band, and I was like, well, what are we going to do, you know, if we can't get our guitar player out? And, and then I said... You know, it's really a lot easier to find a bass player 
and everybody kind of like, <laughs> you know, wrong words, Kara, wrong words. And I was like, oh, you know, so. Yeah, well, you you couldn't say that in this town. Um, yeah. There, there are a lot of bass players who have gigs already, but it's, it's hard to keep them reined in. Now, let me, uh, let me go back to that for a second, because you're playing tonight, and you're also going to be back on May the 26th with the full band, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were supposed to come back. We were supposed to be here like a month ago, and some things happened. But yeah, we're coming back to 26, full band. Very good. Five piece bands. Now to go back to something that we were talking about earlier before uh, your orders were taken, um, just want to say that you know because you, the fact that you, the, the care I should say, wasn't really you know somebody who really knew about what you were doing or didn't necessarily care. I, I'm guessing that that was probably just fine with you. Well, I was, you know, on, on Facebook they have these things where they say someone you should know or someone you might like, and a picture came up, and, and you know, I was like, oh, she looks interesting. So I clicked on it, and then you go to her page, and then there's music and stuff, and you can just follow the, the line down to whatever. So I, I, I heard her songs. I loved her lyrics. I was just like, yes, this chick has something really good going on, and I love that. So... When I hear something I really like, then I reach out to it. So I just did that, and I was just like, I really like what you're doing, and whatever, this, that, and the other thing. And then we started, you know, emailing back and forth or whatever. And then she had a video shoot, and she said, why don't you come down for the video shoot? And I was like, why? You know, what do you want me for? She's like, you could sell some books and some CDs and all this stuff. <laughs> I was just trying to get people. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, well, you know, I was just like, why does she want me to come? And then met and did the thing and then met all her friends and she's got a great inner circle of friends that are just fantastic people and other musicians and I'm like Nashville you know I mean there's nothing but players I was like so maybe I'll make some connections you know and then one thing led to another and they, she was going to do some shows in LA and we kept talking except for that couple of months where you didn't talk to me you know um, and all of a sudden she says I want wanted you to go to L.A., and I'm like, okay. So I just went and just basically stood around or, you know, just was there while she did some shows. And then, what was the third? Oh, then the, rec then the record. Then she was recording an EP, which is half the songs are on the new, new album. And she's like, I want you to play on the record. And I'm like, oh, you don't really want me to play. <laughs> you know, so then it was more musicians, more guys I got to meet. And then just any chance to be in the studio and watch somebody work and stuff, and I, I love that. And I kept going, hey, please, me, sir, me, sir, I got an idea, please, please, Kara, listen to me. And I was like, nope. Yeah, no, the, uh, uh, you, slowly you said no, but originally you put up with me and you let me say a few things. But, I mean, I was just so enthused about the whole thing, and just when you're in the presence of somebody who's doing great stuff, you just, you're, as a musician, you're like, I want, oh, ooh, I want to get in on this, you know? And it was awesome. And then she recorded the whole album, and it was three months in the studio, and then I just sat on my hands the whole time because she said, you, you can't talk. <laughs> you should just be quiet. So everybody says, you know, he needs to be in your band. And I'm just like, hey, I know me too well, you know? She, she would just fire me. Be, he'd be fired yeah. in a day. Every day. Because I'm too mean. You yeah. Know? In my past life, I played with the band that uh, the guitar player and the, one of the two lead singers were in a relationship, it and it was just work. a roller coaster ride. It work. I'm well, too bossy, and you know I can't. We sometimes late at night, you know, I sit and I, I tell them I wasn't in Danzig, you know, I wasn't in Sam Hay, and not to disrespect that, but I'm my own person. I do my own thing. I write my. I've been ten years doing this. I don't need anyone coming in and telling me what to do. I don't care if you're Elvis. I'm doing it my way. So it's best that we keep it separate because it's just going to... It's not going to be pretty. Well, the first time I saw when we were rehearsing for the video and stuff, I saw that she was boss. She was lead, She was the band leader. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. And uh, being a woman, it's very hard in a, with like 90% guys doing music to have a woman come in and say, no, that sucks, I want you to play this, or whatever, and she was totally handling it, so I got that right away, and I really liked that she was doing that, you know, so, yeah, eventually I just shut up and just listened, you know what I mean, but I did have, on the way home, after the sessions, we would talk, you know, then it was okay, you know, Yeah. so, but her, I swear, 
a, a dozen times I was about to say, why don't you do this? And she said it three seconds later, you know, before yeah. I was going to say it. She said, I think we need this and we should do this. And I was like, okay, I don't even need to talk because she already knows what she wants, you know. And, and so that's why I don't, you know. I just try to support, you know, because she's great, you know. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to hearing you play tonight some, too. And, of course, uh, We're trying to just here go you've got... You know, oh, oh, okay, well, then uh, I guess we'll see you later. <laughs> well, good night, grown up. Yeah. Go up and go, mother, good night. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've got a, a project going on, too, though, right here, uh, your own band? There's always something going on. Yeah. You know, What's I, the latest? i got all the paintings. I've got a, a couple of books I'm working on. I want to do a new record because it's like I'm going to use, you know, Matt and guys in her band. And there's so many musicians. Our piano player, David Walker, is great. He's got a studio. So there's there's a hundred things going on. And I do some shows here and there. And I do art shows and things like that. But, you know, I don't have a band right now. But I'd like to have one. But it's like she knows. It's so hard to keep a band together, you know. Yes, it is. Just about everywhere you go. And, and even, I guess, in a town with as many players as Nashville... It's everybody's got they're all looking for the one thing that's going to stick mm -hmm. and pay the bills so they all go off in all these different directions you know Nashville could quite possibly be the hardest place to do it believe it or not right. it's not easy there just because it's you know Music City doesn't mean it's easy at all no in fact I think the name Music City implies that it's going to be a lot harder yeah it's, it's tough it's tough sometimes yeah. it's easier just to go off on your own and do your own thing versus worrying about five other people and their families and what they're doing if they're going to leave you and, and then they're going to come back when you start making it big and that's why acoustics for me sometimes is just no brainer just get in the car and just go do it you know mm -hmm. versus yeah. who needs this amount of money and who can leave work and uh yeah plus we were talking about it and still no matter what you do if you're doing an acoustic performance and you have a, a record with a whole band you're still promoting the record and the songs it doesn't matter as long as you get out there and do it and she can do it on her own you know she can just go out and play she doesn't need anybody to help her accompany you you know she can just do it so it's still promoting so you, you gotta do whatever you gotta do yeah, and uh, it's certainly a lot easier to pack for that. You don't have to carry as much stuff in a trailer or whatever. That's what they said. They said, yeah. you just came in a car with a couple guitars? <laughs> well, the car and went. You know, I'm like, yeah, Chuck, and Chuck Berry. It's you know. just like, it's so easy. You know, you call up Matt, and he's just like, I'll be there. And you just go. Yeah, it's hard. Rona. You have to pack a ton of shit and a ton of people and drums and sometimes a PA. And sometimes it's just like, it's not even worth it. Just go play acoustic and sell your CDs and go home with money, you know? Yeah, and so that's part of the mission tonight. If you guys don't leave first, is there will be music. Uh, well, later it gets. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't hear any music going on from out there, so it might be just about time. So I want to say thank you all for taking the time to talk with me. And I uh, hope your next trip back, which is just a couple of weeks down the road, will be just as good. And... Any any um, particular websites or, or projects that either one of you want to plug I have a right record. quick? Yeah. Caraclark.com. I think you can just Google me. Yeah. yeah. So, so, Southern Hospitality. It's a great record. Don't go to EriVaughn.com because that's not him. It's somebody else. It's yeah. Charles I'm man. just on Facebook, you know, or anybody can get it. If they just Google me, you can find me if you want to. You know. Yeah. Come to our house. Doesn't that suck the the world of the internet squatter? Somebody somebody took your website. That, well, well, I mean, give it back. Know, well, yeah. For the record, give it back. There's you know how many Erie Vaughn something or Vaughn Erie something. There's a whole there's like a dozen people or more out there that has something that has Erie Vaughn something. You know, so there's a wrestler. Yeah, a wrestler. Oh, no. uh, what's her name? Something Von Erie. Christina Von Erie. Yeah. <laughs> I kicked my. Oh, well, I asked her. I, I was just like, can you come and kick my wife's ass? Um, but she's, she's a fan. That's why she did the name. And some guy just named his kid Erie John something instead of Erie Vaughn. You know? so wow. I said... Which is interesting because I'm guessing that your parents did not name you Erie Vaughn. No. 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 That's just a nickname from high school. Yeah, of course. It's a punk rock name. You know, yeah. like everybody had a punk rock name. So right. When you, you know, plus that would keep their family out of it because if you did something bad, they couldn't find you or couldn't find mm -hmm. your family. So we wanted to keep the family out of it. So, 
you know, but Vaughn is like a, my unofficial middle name because I'm German. So, you know, my dad wanted to name me Eric Vaughn, you know, so that's where that came from. You know. All right. Well, uh, I'm trying to think of the philosopher's name. It starts with Eric Vaughn. Oh, no, I can't remember. The old Hollywood director, Eric Vaughn Stroheim. Oh, Stroheim. You got that, too. He's in uh, the... Stroganoff? No. Oh. No. Eric Vaughn Stroganoff. Hungry. You're just hungry, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he was in uh, Sunset Boulevard. He played the ballet, the driver, Vaughn Stroheim. He was the old director. Uh, that is that is a nice bit of movie trivia that I did not he possess before, and then we've committed it I'd to. I'd be on Jeopardy. Things only I've done for two hundred, Alex. <laughs> yeah, for me the category is far too small. I, but anyway, thank you again, and uh, have a safe safe trip back to Nashville, and right. see you back in Roanoke soon. Thanks. Okay.